Google DeepMind's only objective is to kill OpenAI and the latest in that is Gemini 2.5 Flash. In the next 5 minutes you are going to learn everything about Gemini 2.5 Flash including couple of demos. First of all Gemini 2.5 Flash comes with a thinking mode. So it's not a non-reasoning model alone, it is a reasoning model. But the best part here is that, that you get to customize how much do you want to reason. So this comes probably the first model I think that can let you control how much do you want the model to think? For example, you have got this thinking mode, which first of all, you can enable or disable. Second, you can also set the thinking budget in terms of the number of tokens the model can take to think and get back to you. I think this is going to be extremely helpful for developers. In terms of benchmarks, this model is almost closer to OpenAI 04 Mini. So humanity's last exam, this model has scored 12.1 while OpenAI's O4 Mini scored 14.3%. On AMI, this is 78%. O4 Mini is like at next level. AMI 2024, this model has much better score. And on Aider Polyglot, this model has scored 51.1%. And as you can very well understand at this particular point, this model is extremely focused on speed and cost efficiency than being the best model in place. So this model, the most important news about this model is the cost. This model is just 15 cents for 1 million input tokens and 60 cents for 1 million output token without any reasoning. And when you add reasoning to it, it becomes $3.5. OpenAI 04 Mini doesn't come with any such cost. So it is $4.4 across reasoning slash non-reasoning. And for input, it is $1.10, which is almost 10 times more than what Gemini 2.5 Flash is. But what I felt about using this particular model is, even though the model is extremely good in terms of comparing with OpenAI 04 Mini, the model takes a lot of time to think. For example, take this problem. And for this particular problem, this model took 54 seconds to think and then get back to me, while O4 Mini took only six seconds to think and get back. I think this latency is going to play an important role in how developers choose a particular model. But if you leave that aside, this model is extremely helpful. It's a multi-model model. It supports long context up to 1 million token. And you also get to have a budgeted thinking mode. So you get to control how much you want a model to think for a particular use case. And that is going to be extremely helpful when you develop software applications on top of it. The way you can access this model is go to Google AI Studio, click a new chat, and then go to the model selection, select Gemini. 2.5 and then select Gemini 2.5 flash a preview and after you select that you can enable the thinking mode or disable the thinking mode and also you get to enable or disable code execution so you can go ahead and then ask a question I want to know the 24th number in Fibonacci uh, series and send it. Now you can expect that it is going to write a Python code. So it has got this logic and then it has to write the Python code and it is writing the Python code and giving you the final answer back. So it took seven seconds for you to get the answer. Next, let's ask the model to make a chart for us. I'm going to enable code execution and I'm going to keep the thinking mode on, but I'm going to just reduce the budget in this case to see what happens. I'm going to go pick the chart from this particular place which is exactly what Google has given us. And I'm going to paste it on Google AI Studio and then say, make a chart of this rates. So the image is being pasted, simply run the prompt. So it has taken the input image and it has got the prompt that I've given. Not a very interesting prompt, but you can see that the rate limit here, the thinking budget has been set for 3,875 tokens. So we just see if it can make the chart within that particular prompt. And we have also enabled code execution. That means it has to create the chart and then finally show it to us. As you can see here, I think there is some kind of a mistake that it thinks that it has already shown the chart, but the chart is not visible, but it has gotten everything else right. Next let's test the model's multilingual and multimodal capability. I've got some text, which is a poem in Tamil, and I'm going to ask the model to translate this for me in the most literal way. As you can see here, I've not set a thinking budget. So it has translated it for me in the literal way in the sleep without early night in the sleep without early night. So if you go see this particular image, you can see Urakam Illa Munnerevil. So that literally means uh, Urakam means sleep, illa so it's 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 almost like done a very good job of translating it. I think this is one of the biggest strengths of this particular model that it can do multimodality and it is also multilingual and it is cheap and fast. Let me know what you feel about this model. See you in another video. Happy prompting.